What's going on guys? In this video I'm going to be sharing with you my live training session. Using a simple scalping strategy, we're going to be only reading the naked chart. We're not going to be relying on indicators. There's one indicator that is 21 bar EMA, but this is just a supportive indicator. When prices are below EMA, that indicates downtrend. When prices are above in the EMA, that indicates uptrend. And when prices are swinging up and down, up and down through EMA like this, and EMA is in the middle of those bars, this is a trading range, just a supportive indicator. And the first thing I like to do, I like to start with identifying the market structure before I start trading. And what I can see that the prices started with a little bit of a trading range and then we eventually push down and break to the downside. This is a clear downtrend. You guys can see my tr trend lines are holding prices nicely. EMA is in the middle, uh, EMA is pointing down. Prices are in the below the EMA. So right now, this is a downtrend. I'm only thinking for reasons to sell this market and we haven't even broken this trend line yet. So that's for it right now. All right, guys, and I'm about to enter my first trade. Let me quickly prepare my limit order. And I got filled. I'm going for go for eight ticks. My target profit, three contracts, my one contract as a runner. My stop loss goes one tick above the signal bar. And basically what I'm looking at is I'm going to explain everything in a bit. Hold on. Let me see this happen fairly quickly. But we had a price is created a new low at this point on. We had a first entry short pullback, second entry short far away from the EMA. So there is no way for me to enter right here. Then we pushed. And we created a pullback at the EMA. This is a key entry point. And remember, we are still in a downtrend. We have this downtrend working lower. We have a break. So I'm expecting for price to create a new extreme to the downside, new low. This is according to perfect price action rules. Target and we got filled. Perfect. So I didn't like to enter on this trade once we bounce off the EMA. Why? Well, because we have this uptrend working higher. But since prices pull back higher, trapped everybody in and instantly pull back lower. You can technically say that I'm still going short directly into the support, but right now the EMA held prices two times. It is a lower high setup and where I'm still waiting for a new low to be established. So this is the main reason why I took this trade. And right now you can see I'm holding one contract as a runner. I'm, or I put my stop loss at break even because I don't want to lose any money right now. I don't want to risk anything. This is just a bonus and it is for psychological reason because I just want to be completely carefree about this money. I don't care uh about anything that happens to this money right now this is just a bonus this is just a gravy market open you know a few seconds ago a few minutes ago and i really like taking this trap because you know a lot of people are probably going to go long below ema like this off of this trend line and they're going to get trapped but we created a lower high yeah. ema pull back and our runner just got stopped out so that's a little bit unfortunate but uh i'm still looking for a new low we are starting to make we are starting to make a double bottom right here but sometimes that's enough for a new low for us to uh, take this as a new low because a lot of times you will get just a double tops or double bottoms. That is a good attempt. But after a strong downturn like this, I would be surprised if we didn't make one more leg down. And it is Wednesday, August 4th. And the current time is 15.33 and Central Standard Time is 8.33. Uh, it is 15.33 on my chart. Uh, quick easy scalp right out of the gate our uh, first trade i'm going to mark this trade right here and let's see what's going to happen prices are reversing about the ema so we'll see and actually we may have a back-to-back -back setup uh, uh, let me see let me or should i just stay away with this i'm probably hold on let me see the because what i'm looking at is i'm looking as a break and a new high of the short map trend. The only thing that I'm worried, we're too close to this double bottom and it looks like I did the right thing that I skipped this trade because I would have gotten trapped here probably. All right, traders, I'm resuming the video because we just created a new high right here. We have a first entry long, pull back below the EMA, second entry long, failure, and we just now trigger one tick below these matching bar low. So this is a second entry long failure in a downtrend, but I'm not going to take it short and you guys can see that it is bouncing on us and why i'm not taking it short because we're very close to these lows right here we actually have a nice fairly good setup on a five minute chart a nice bearish bar off the ema so this is very tempting when i'm looking at five minute chart i kind of want to take this trade but the five minute chart is just a supportive chart so when i see a good setup on a 2k chart i just take a look at quick peek at the five minute chart to kind of confirm my bias but I'm not, I'm not just going to take solely a setup which is based on five minute chart because on the 2k chart right now this seems very this seems very chopped up 
and you guys can see ladder stems and even though it is a trap says second entry long below the ema i'm not going to risk that um to, to make a few pushes down just to get stopped out so this is why i'm sitting on my hands right now i'm resuming the video just to show you guys how important the market context is look at this triple confirmation triple bottom strong push above the ema and now a strong bullish rally up to the upside so this is why we we are not pattern traders uh, we try to look and take into in consideration the overall market structure and this is why i didn't like to take this failed second entry long you're too close to these lows it is too choppy lattice stems and just overall prices look like they're starting to bottom out and we are reversing right now all right guys so i'm resuming the video as i'm fairly tempted to take this trade if you guys notice we have a new high right here pull back first entry long pull back second entry long trigger above this bar However, I don't like entering while the bar is still being printed. I like for bar to close to give me a true confirmation. This bar right here, however, if you break below, we already move quite quite a bit. And this is a fairly big stim on the downside, but the market context is really strong because if you take a look, we started in the trading range and we created a second tier of a trading range that is very measured. We came back and now the support is acting as a resistance and I'm probably going to i'm probably going to prepare my limit order just in case we break below and we just broke below i'm very very tempted to take this trade i'm gonna play it extremely safe i'm gonna i'm going to put my limit order right here where the body is is ending and the stim is starting to print because this is a felt second entry long and bounce off this resistance and i'm going to move my stop loss one tick above this this bar and i'm going to go for eight ticks leave my one contract as a runner at these lows and basically i'm still hoping that the second entry long is still in the middle of failing uh, because this is a two-tier trading range and right now this resistance is holding prices nicely we created a lower high setup uh, but i taking this lower high setup is fairly picking a top so i wasn't really sure entering this trade but i was waiting for failed second entry long after this depletion move up strong bullish move up depletion big bearish bar but like i said this is how i like to play it i don't like entering on a stop while this bar is printing i want to see the bar finish i want to see the bar close because it can easily move up higher and i just enter on a wrong trade and i just get a stupid uh, losing trade so right now we're in the middle of this trade and we were way overdone for a bearish correction because we, we kept making new highs new highs but at the same time the lows were static and this is not looking like a strong uptrend at all this is not an uptrend this is just a f weird looking trading range the prices are working and there is no surprise we may get a little bit of correction because i'm going short fairly close to the move this is why i'm entered with the limit order so high up because i don't want to go short directly after all this move happened i want to have a little bit of room and you guys can see one two ticks room to my target profit is a decent enough room the prices are still fighting it the trading range is measured as i'm going to show you guys very close to being measured doesn't have to be perfect two tier two tier trading range let's see how it goes this is not ideal what i want to see but let's see we're still we're still in the middle of this trade i still think this is not a strong uptrend this doesn't look like a strong uptrend at all to me because if i the lows look the lows look fairly tempting but if you you can't make it fit off the highs and this is just weird this is very flat and i'm still expecting for price to reach here if we're gonna get any bounce off this trend line so i still think i'm selling highs this is how you want to play trading ranges you want to sell the highs and buy the lows i'm selling highs right here come on this is what i want to see a nice bullish bar nice bearish bar come on keep working keep working this is my entry right here. Let's go. Oh, here are the markers. I usually don't like keeping the markers on the chart, but just to show you guys the trades. Come on, we are halfway in. $200. We need 200 more. We just need to break below this bullish bar. If you break below this bullish bar, this is fairly decent. Come on there's a lot of selling happening a lot of people starting to sell come on a few more ticks you guys can see that the volatility is really slow if you look at the right axis 4408 4409 this is just a one point incremental difference 
volume is really low. So this is why I'm going for eight takes only. Let me pause it so not to make it too long. All right, price is getting very close to, and we're bouncing off my exit order. We're below EMA now. Good confirmation, strong bearish bar. Strong bearish bar. Prices bounce off my exit, even though I use automated strategy, which gets me early in the queue. And perfect, we got full. So these are, this is a first entry long, second entry long, failure off the highs in the trading range. And keeping my, whoops, I wanna grab the contract. I'm, I'm not going to be greedy. I don't think that we're gonna break a lower somewhere around here. This is probably not what's going to happen. So I'm gonna keep my runner one tick above this resistance. Let's see what's going to happen right now. Strong bearish move down. And this is, you guys can see, this is how I normally play it. Uh, when I see, because a lot of traders, they can put their buy, buy stop one tick below this bearish bar. I like to wait to, for this bar to finish. All right guys, so our runner just got filled around this support right here and prices are breaking this low and falling down like crazy we're getting really far away from ema and every time you get far away from ema you should be expecting some sort of correction i'm very tempting once again to pick a bottom right here because we just now broke this support and most breakouts of trading ranges will fail so this is a strong key level and this is our first break below this key level it is looking very very bearish so if, if, if we get a decent bullish looking bar, I may try to sneak in and pick a bottom here. I'm probably gonna scale down a bit. I'm not gonna go with four contracts. But for me to pick the bottom right here, I really wanna see a nice bullish bar right here. And this is a this bar has a bearish body and this is a horrible doji looking bar. So I'm still sitting on my hands. We're getting far away from EMA, uh, but I don't wanna enter above this bar, even though most breakouts of training just will fail. Uh, I just don't feel too good about this. I really want to see a little bit of a a little bit of a more bullish bar, and we are breaking higher. So there is no surprise. We're probably going to make a pullback at least to this breakout level. But like I said, I already scaled down to three contracts in case we get a good signal bar. Potentially higher low setup. This is how you want to trade trading ranges. You buy the lows, you fade the, you sell the highs, and you fade the breakouts. This very effective way to trade trading ranges. But um, I'm not too sure about buying the low here because this overall trading range is looking very weird. There were a little bit upper buys, but not really strong uptrend. So this is not your typical trading range where the highs are static and the lows are static. We only have a decent lows, but the highs are all over the place. The only thing that is helping me right here is this two tier channel. And we close nicely bullish and we're working higher. If you make, yeah. See, most breakouts of trading ranges fail. I keep demonstrating this over and over. This bar had to close one or if this bar closed with this bar this body bullish this one tick bullish body i would have really liked it but like this no i can't even like this this is there's no entry in but it's a shame man that's a shame look at this nice entry and probably a potential runner of the day it is what it is i got lucky i didn't uh get fill here and i got a little bit unlucky with the signal bar but it all evens out at the end of the day. So I just found this bigger pattern right here. You guys can see that we have a nice confirm, nice, nice geometrical pattern up here of these highs. And there are two nice confirmation on this high as well. So this is starting to look fairly valid. We don't really have a nice confirmation of the lows. So this is giving a little bit more credence to the down bias. And the five minute chart is looking fairly bearish too. So I'm going to be a little bit more careful with the longs. I may even wrap it up if we don't get a good setup because I already took, took two trades. But I'm starting to lean more to the downside as I found this gorgeous two-tier channel working lower. Let me see the midline. The midline seems fairly decent. We actually are bouncing off the midline right now. So we'll see. We'll see what's going to happen. This is just a potential thought. The market didn't really give me a good opportunity to take the trade. And I've been trading for quite some time, so I'm gonna call it a wrap. Uh, hopefully, you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, uh, please like the video, subscribe to the channel if you're new. And just to summarize, I marked few trades according to our rules because just to remember, guys, we traded down. We started with the day, basically with the down. We started with a little bit of trading range. We pushed back, pull back lower. We have a break, and we're expecting for price to reach as a new extreme. After that, price went into this trading range. There are really no static highs. We just made, we just have a static lows or even the lows are making higher lows each time so this is a looking a little bit like an uptrend but this is really no 
no uptrend. This is just weird looking trading range. And when we are in a trading range, what we're looking to do, we're looking to sell the highs, buy the lows and fade the breakout. So this is my second trade, new high, first entry long, second entry long. Two legged pullback is a high probability setup, but we're at the top of the trading range. We're confirming this key level right here. So oh, this is a trap. We close below EMA. Uh, we pull back lower. We have a first entry short, second entry short, two legged pullback once again, two key entry two key entry points confirmation, and prices pushed lower. This is where I, I exited my runner. Just as you saw, I was contemplating taking this trade. This is a failed break below this key level. Most breakouts to trading ranges will fail. So I only want to take this trade if we get a better bullish looking signal bar. Price is pushed higher. I didn't really make it quite to this uh, trend line right here. And we created a double top and double top resets the count. So we have a first entry long, failed, second entry long. Once again, below this key level. So this is a good trade to take going long. And look, the important indication right here. We couldn't even make it back to this highs right here we stopped in the middle of this trading range and we couldn't even make it to this trend line so this is definitely telling you that the buyers are not as strong it is a lot of sellers in the market so the market's sold off and yeah there's there's no setup and i'm just gonna call it the wrap looks like the bigger pattern is not even gonna come into play but the market is slowly creeping to the downside because you're supposed to push to these highs right here but it didn't happen Double top right here and turn down and starting selling off. So this was the day. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed it and got something useful out of it. Uh, two trades. I'm not going to force no trades. I've been really trading for, for a long time now. So I'm just going to take my two winners and go home. So see you next time. Take care, everybody.